We are made of proteins and by proteins. Cells in our body change constantly because of them. But how do they work so quickly and so accurately? Scientists thought they had the answers, but that was until Stephen Bankovic turned the understanding of protein chemistry on its head. Stephen Bankovic was born in Orange, New Jersey, near the end of the Great Depression. His interest in chemistry was sparked at an early age. Growing up, uh, I was the terror of the neighborhood because I was the scientist in the sense of who made the gunpowder explosives, who shot rockets at the school windows, who made hydrogen in the basement of his house, and so, of course, my poor parents received a lot of telephone calls. He also loved literature and went on to study that and chemistry at Lehigh University. I always was able to do some reading while my organic chemistry pots were cooking and I was making some kind of product. And I tried to always mix in uh, my literature with uh, my science. These literary abilities would come in handy. After receiving his PhD in organic chemistry from Cornell, Bankovic helped launch the field of bioorganic chemistry by co-writing two pioneering books, the first major works on the subject. Then in 1965, Bankovic became a professor at Penn State. There he began his lifelong study of enzymes, the powerful proteins that orchestrate chemical reactions. He wanted to know how they work so quickly and so accurately. To test for answers, he chose a DNA polymerase, an enzyme that copies a long strand of DNA as his pet. To me, these polymerases were just absolutely amazing enzymes. Here now is a protein that makes a mistake once out of every 10 million times. And how fast does it copy the DNA? Once a second? No, the answer is it copies 500 bases every second. Until this time, scientists believed that a very small part of an enzyme, called its active site, was where all chemical reactions took place. So when looking for diseases and developing drugs, they focused only on those sites. But Bankovic suspected that there must be some role for the large remainder of the molecule. So with his team, he set out to prove it. What we started to make were some of our enzymes with these mutations in them. And to our amazement, what we found was that the changes had a great effect on what was happening at the active site. Bankovic showed for the first time that the entire protein mattered. It was a profound insight that forever changed the way scientists view enzyme-based chemical reactions. Now it's obvious that you want to start to think about developing drugs that work outside the active site that can impede the motion of the enzyme. For disease hunters and drug designers, Benkovic's work has opened the door to a whole new class of pharmaceuticals able to target diseases like cancer in ways never before imagined. But Benkovic didn't stop there. He turned his attention to an even more complex question. How do proteins interact with each other to create and sustain life? Steve uh, established a research program that uh, studies DNA replication, a fundamental aspect of uh, a living cell. It turns out his pet, the DNA polymerase, is only one piece of a 3D molecular puzzle called a replisome. Only if all the pieces fit together perfectly will it replicate DNA. Bankovic started to wonder how these pieces came together. It doesn't form out of magic, and we found that there were certain energy requirements uh, that were necessary for the replisome to form. We wanted to know how fast it moved. We wanted to know how it came apart, how all these things work together to allow this replisome to function. I've often been told that, you know, where Steve leads, others will definitely follow, and uh, that's, that's true. Even after celebrating his 70th birthday with 80 of his former and current students, Bekovic has no plans to give up his quest to fully understand enzymes. The interface between chemistry and biology is just so active right now. Uh, to understand uh, how all of these things are put together and work, that it's just one of the most exciting places to be. 
the 2009 Benjamin Franklin Medal in Life Science is presented to Stephen Benkovic for his groundbreaking contributions to our mechanistic understanding of enzymes and for helping to unravel the complexities of the enzymes involved in DNA replication.